at this past winter NAM show, I got a question asked by someone that does a lot of remixes on how to actually work with audio that wasn't recorded to a click track or doesn't have a steady tempo, one that speeds up and slows down like real musicians performing. Now, we like to have a correlation between the music and the bars and beats in our DAW so that we could throw in drum loops and have it sync to the tempo and have it automatically lock up. But if the original material isn't actually have a correlation between the bar and beat and the DAW, it's very difficult to do. So we have run into situations like this. So if we play back the audio and I turn on my metronome, Again, the two aren't lining up. They're completely independent. So what can we do to kind of fix this problem? What a lot of people do is chop up each measure of the audio, time compress it to a steady, consistent value, uh, and then add drum loops on top of that. And not only is that incredibly tedious, but it often loses the feel of the original track. So we have a different approach. So instead of having the existing music follow the grid. We want the grid to follow the existing music. I'm gonna select the file on my project window, go to my project menu, and choose tempo detection. I'll get my little dialog box here, and then I will just say analyze. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a tempo map automatically based on the musical material. And you'll have some choices if you want to multiply or divide by two. So if it comes in at half, but let's go take a quick listen to the results here. And what it's done is broken down each beat. And it's also created our tempo track here. So we can see that almost every single beat is changing slightly. But also when we look at it, it gives us a signature track of 1-4, because it's gonna not assume that every piece of music is in 4-4. Four, four. So what we want to do is to actually define where our downbeat is, and our. And I think this is in 4-4, four, four, but let's listen for our downbeat, and we're gonna define that as our 4-4 four, four bar. So it looks like it's right here. Let's listen to it one more time. So we have some pickup notes on the drums. I'm gonna select my draw tool, or the pencil tool, and just click right on that and it's gonna snap to be 4-4. Four, four. So now let's go ahead and listen to it. And we have a highly accurate tempo map of the existing part. Now, let's say I wanted to move my tempo map to the top here, we'll make it a little smaller. And what we want to do now is to take a drum loop and have that drum loop automatically match do something highly inappropriate. So what I want to do now is just drag this drum loop onto my timeline. And then one of the things that you want to make sure of when you do this, if you have a drum loop, is to make sure, and you'll see in the info line, this thing that says musical mode. Once musical mode is turned on, it will automatically have this drum loop follow the tempo of the existing project. So it's going to speed up and slow down to match this. And let me just copy this over a couple times, grabbing it by the right edge. And now... So this drum loop is now speeding up and slowing down to match the existing tempo of the pre-recorded music. All without any hassle. So as you can see, using the tempo detection tool for audio that changes tempos, and then using musical mode from the info line, you can easily do remixes without sacrificing the feel of the original audio file. If you have found this video useful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.